Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Steve Lenahan, and he is Victor Echo 5 Sierra Romeo, and he is having trouble with his very nice new security system. Every time he transmits, it goes crazy. And he says when he transmits on different frequencies, different parts of it go crazy. Okay, so fundamentally what we're looking at here is cables somewhere are acting as tuned antennas and putting enough RF into these things so that they cannot uh, protect themselves properly. I'd like to first, before we jump into this, uh, pay a special thank you to Mel Huckhalder, who is a new patron of mine. Patrons are those who push a little money at the channel every month. It can be as little as $2 or up from there if you want. And uh, most of the people are at the $2 and $5 levels. If you go to patreon.com, slash ke0og you too can become a patron of this channel and pick a way that works for you note that you have complete control over this you can change uh, quit start again uh, anything like that anytime you want it's entirely self-service also I'd like you to know that uh, as a patron you can send me a patron message the patron message comes to me as uh, part of my normal email, and uh, I pay particular attention to questions and requests from patrons because they are the people who are keeping the lights on, keeping my assistant paid, and all of those things like that. So I appreciate that. Let's take a look at Steve's problem. Uh, and it's been a little while. This piece here has been kind of floating around in my shack for a little bit. Uh, it's dated uh, Friday, December 30th of last year. He says, greetings and happy new year. I'm renovating my late wife's craft room into my ham shack. At 80, that's his age, it's becoming a bit of a hike to the basement to get on the air. I'm running multiple data cables and have an RF patch panel being built into a wall. I operate ALE on CFARs. ALE is something used on HF by um, people uh, who are doing work with served agencies, such as the Armed Forces. It stands for Automatic Link Establishment, and it goes and probes several frequencies on different bands until it finds a band that works the best. Okay, um, This could be used for ham radio operations too, but it just helps you find the best band uh, if for the link of the link uh, will operate at all. CFARS is Canadian Mars. Mars is the military affiliate, auxiliary radio system, and it just changed its name a few years ago, and um, I get it mixed up. I used to do Mars uh, with the Air Force back when I was in the Air Force. That went nowhere. Um, and previously had problems with the sounding cycle. This is the automatic link establishment where it sounds the different frequencies, disrupting my security cameras. It depended on what channel affected what camera. That's a very important clue. So I'm guessing there are resonant lengths at play. Yes, there are. Um, I bought a package of ferrites off Amazon at the su suggestion of one of our members. Uh, he likes it. I have no idea the mix, they don't say. That mix is not important. Um, these are little snap-on things that you can put around coax cables, around uh, Cat5 cables, and so on. The best place for them is usually at the entrance to the camera or where it goes into the central system or both. Another place you can put them is on the power going into the camera and where the power originates, okay? 
So I'm making a point of selling quite a few of these uh, little ferrites here so that you can make them work. Um, if I put ferrites at the camera, should they be clipped on the camera line, the power, or both, and before or after the point where the cables are combined? Um, you know you're going to have to experiment. I would start out with putting one about six inches prior to the camera on the um, data cable coming out of it, which is your Cat 6, um, probably. And then um, see if that works. If that doesn't work, put them on the other end of that cable. If that doesn't work, put it on the power on, on either end. You'll get there eventually. Um, the thing about RFI problems is they're never easy. And it takes some real work uh, to find uh, which one you want. Okay, I have uh, bulk runs in the basement ceiling to the DVR that records the, uh, what the different security cameras are seeing. And wondering if lines should be individually filtered or I can stuff a bundle through a single or multiple filters. Uh, yeah, either. If you can, if you have enough room on the cable uh, and you get a little bigger clip on, you can actually run it around twice through that uh, little clip on, and that can really help uh, doing that. Okay, um, the cables can't be precise lengths, so they will end up being wrapped around a couple of posts. Okay. Uh, does it make any sense to filter the CAT6 lines? Actually, I'm assuming you've got going to each camera power of some sort and a CAT6 cable. Now, what a lot of these do is they'll do POE, which stands for Power Over Ethernet. Now, it's not widely known, but if you look inside your CAT6 cable, there are four pairs of wires. Four, that's eight wires total, four pair of wires. What is not commonly thought of is that one pair runs the data in this direction, the other pair runs it in this direction, and the other two pair are not used. Okay, so they can be used for other things. You could actually run a phone line through one if you wanted, although the impedance is a little weird. But you can also put DC power uh, through these other lines, and a lot of them will have some sort of a hub where all the lines come to, and it's just Cat6 out to the security camera instead of that plus a power line. So you'll go ahead and put the ferrite around it you know, a couple inches before the camera, a couple inches before it goes into the DVR device. Uh, there's not much point putting them in between. You can if you want, if you're ferrite crazy, but um, normally you don't have to do that. You put them at either end. I have some uh, uh, computer cables. They're USB cables that actually have the ferrites on them for a particular application uh, because they know that that is needed. Okay, uh, so um, that's Steve's question and I think we have gone through and answered that. And Steve, I wish you the very best of luck. Apologize for the late reply. Please tell me how it comes out and what you find that works the best. Send it to the same address you sent it before, askdave at arrl.org. I'll get that. And if you can include that as a forwarding of your letter or your email, uh, then I'll know what it is. just like to know how well it works out. So there you have it. If those of you watching would like to help support this channel and keep this kind of thing going, please go to dcastlercom slash support and pick a method that works for you. I've been promoting Patreon recently. That's at patreon.com slash ke0og. So, until we next meet, 73.